Hello and welcome to the Machona podcast. Hope you've had a great start to the week. Mine hasn't been so bad. And to start with, I'd like to apologize for the delay in uh, recording uh, a new episode. This was due to uh, issues beyond my control. But uh, here we are. And uh, today we are going to discuss uh, side hassles. So side hassles are a business that one does apart from their regular paying job. Uh, So this is sort of like a a side business, so to speak. And this is what we are going to talk about. This was uh, requested by um, Kevin, a friend of mine. Uh, The reason why we are going to talk about this is because um, a lot of um, people that I know always say they would want to do something apart from their job but they don't seem to know exactly where to start from or what they should do and uh, so I I think I I go through that myself as well you know you have a lot of ideas in your head a lot of ideas that might bring money uh, that extra money that everybody needs but um, you don't really know how to start or where to start from and so i have been doing a bit of um uh, looking around to see um, what i can use uh, for this episode and i did uh, find um, some uh, advice or inspirations which is what i would try to uh, get some tips from and then discuss what they contain and then we see also how that can be uh, applied to our day-to-day lives and um, environments as well so a side hustle a side hustle is um just a little business in most cases which you uh, you decide to start um, apart from your regular job and um, this is usually done maybe around weekends or after work uh, depending on your schedule and um, so this uh, in most cases uh, supplements you know the income that one gets from their job basically and uh, in the uh, in the process as well uh, trying to maybe build a bigger business uh, so that it can they can move on from their day-to-day job to that particular business so the first one is um prepare for the long haul now what this means is um that uh, even a great product or service won't take you very far if you lack the grit determination and genuine interest in helping your future customers solve meaningful problems so before you start a side hustle uh, you need to ask yourself how badly you want to succeed if you are just toying with a business idea and entertaining the notion of uh, striking it reach uh, don't expect a success to happen overnight or that you will make it past the finish line so in in most cases you know people um, would want you know that side business to solve a problem that they have this is not a good idea because you might end up just losing your money you would you would try to cut corners so that you you would make that quick money and uh, in doing so you might end up spending more than what you actually get because any business needs customers to start with and um, if you're you don't have customers within the, the the short time frame that you plan for yourself then that means that venture is now rendered useless if you're starting a side hustle uh, you need to make sure that you are prepared for an extended amount of time uh, for you to actually be able to set it up properly and then uh, start to uh, see a, a more returns coming from uh, whatever you set out to do And the second one is um, identify your skill and areas of interest. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I um, I, I always uh, think you know a good side hustle is something that involves um, either your your talents or gifts. I don't know what what's the difference between talents and gifts, but yeah, something that um, that makes you happy, something that will will give you an extra motivation you know like when you're actually doing it you don't feel like you're working or you don't feel like you are at work because in most times you know workplaces would be a bit stressful and so you don't want to uh, transfer that to your 
side business as well your side business should be something that is fun to do and something that um, you you would enjoy even if you were not getting paid for it and um, I will go ahead and, and explain what the, the article actually says. It says, never enter a battle ill equipped uh, for the challenges you will be facing. In order to uh, experience quick results, you must back your side hustle with relevant skills, experience or industry knowledge. After all, business success happens only when the right skills meet the right interest areas. Just as I was explaining, uh, I mean, if you ask you to do something then rightly go ahead and do it personally uh, most of the things that I enjoy to do um, usually like IT related um, where maybe uh, somebody would ask me to start up a website for them and when I'm doing that it, it feels like I'm just having fun you know like it's just like it's mine I'm, I'm doing something of my own you know like just in my free time and so this really helps in um, in enjoying what you're doing you really need to first of all look at yourself and see what skills you have and then go into something that's relevant to what you can or what you know how to do number three is uh, validate your side hustle with one paying customer now this is uh, this is also quite important because you can go ahead and spend whatever you have to set up a business and then you find that people don't even want it it doesn't have any customers at the end of the day and that is a, a very poor waste of, waste of time to be honest uh, because you would have wasted a lot of time in planning and you would have also wasted maybe uh, a bit of resources as well that you put into to set something up so what you need to do first of all is before you get serious into it you need to make a sample first of all and um, sell it to someone and if someone truly appreciates that then you would get feedback from them and um, and, and actually know where, how um, that your particular product is going to impact your customers because if you know how the product is going to impact your customers then you are going to sell it properly I hate people who would come to sell me something and they are just full of theories you know they they, they can't give me any practical examples of how their product is going to help me because that I, at the end of the day it just looks like somebody's just lying you know like they're just trying to trick you but if um, you actually do have valid feedback from uh, somebody who has been um, helped by your product then you would know exactly where to start and you would know your points of argument when you are trying to sell it to a potential customer so that is very important the fourth one is that differentiate yourself uh, from competitors this happens a lot in, um, in in our community where if somebody starts selling maybe uh, especially with the ladies somebody starts selling maybe perfumes a particular brand of perfumes and they are doing well somebody else will also look at that and think oh that's making money let me also do it but the problem is you don't know what motivated the, that particular person to get into that business. You don't know, you know, how they ended up with, with the products that they have. You don't know what motivated them uh, for them to, to end up in that particular business. So uh, differentiate yourself, look at the market, look at what's easy to find and then go and look at what's in demand but is not easy to find that's how you would differentiate yourself because people would obviously want to get something from you if they are not able to find it elsewhere or if the place that they are going to find it is maybe too far away from where they are usually are and then you bring it closer to them that is going to draw attention from um, potential customers because they will be thinking about all the costs that they're going to cut if they buy from you or if uh, you have a particular brand that nobody else has or uh, very few people have then they would have a reason to buy from you 
in in the beginning because what you want is uh, to reach customers who have not yet done business with you now how are you going to reach those customers you don't want to be uh, the one begging people to buy th things that uh, that they are able to get from just outside of your building that is not going to work in most cases and uh, the fifth one is define clear goals set yourself some goals define what you want to do it's commendable to dream big but when it comes to actually making your side hustle a success you will get absolutely nowhere by aiming for the end zone you know it's uh, it, in order to make your larger goals happen you need to start very small uh, incremental goals are very important after bringing uh, on one satisfied customer it's time to get your second your third your fourth and so on and so forth you know you, you don't want to set goals where you 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 are reaching maybe a whole neighborhood if you don't do that it's going to knock your confidence because you would have you would be thinking you have failed to achieve a goal that you set but if you start maybe by all right i'm going to reach my neighbor on the left side first you go to that neighbor they buy your product successfully that's a success already that's a confidence boost and then you go to the next one and the next one and then you start to grow uh, your customer base just like that one after the other that is what helps you to start when you are just um, setting up something and so remember define clear goals and also the sixth one says set milestones that will force you to launch now a good viable side hustle idea should be launched monetized and iterated don't obsess over trying to build the perfect solution when you don't yet know what exactly your customers will resonate with most otherwise you will just waste precious time trapped in a perennial dream state uh, draw up a simple action plan that lays out key milestones and deadlines that will guide you from start all the way to launch date a lot of people like myself don't usually write action plans you know you don't really put something down on paper but um, when you want to start something that is quite serious you might need to do that because then you would be you, you would be helping yourself from going off track and also uh, keeping your initial idea in check because um, when you go back to your list you'll be you'll be looking at the initial plans that you actually started out with and uh, the time frames that you gave yourself to achieve whatever uh, goal that you had set uh, at the beginning and when you 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 look back and you see how many goals you have managed to achieve that is also going to boost your morale as well for the future goals that you're going to set and you can even set yourself higher goals are based off on uh, the success that you have had uh, in the in the past number seven delegate work outside of your experience if you don't know how to do something please don't waste your time trying to learn and then do it r right on the job give it to somebody who knows you know this is really helpful in startups because they they are some types of businesses where you need a lot of advertising uh, you need a lot of maybe graphics and things like that now not everybody would be able to make you know good and professional posters or animations or that sort of thing but you can always delegate these things find somebody who has that particular skill set and uh, ask them to assist you some people are happy to assist just so that you can be able to showcase their work to the rest of the world so you'll be advertising them whilst using their service and some would probably charge you a little fee now you have to first of all look at your your business and uh, and then decide on uh, whether you want to start spending on on the business right there and then but just remember that if you do not know how to do something don't go and botch it please find somebody who knows how to do it if they you want them to teach you let them teach you and then uh, pick it up from there but always learn to delegate uh, if you 
want to do something that is outside of your expertise. Number eight is ask for real customer feedback. This is important. Customer feedback is always important unless you are a huge company because um, the we, without feedback from your earliest customers, you expose your side hustle to the serious risk of failure. You may be planning to build a product that doesn't do the best possible job of solving your customers' problems. Without objective external feedback, you likely execute the plan invest considerable time, money, and effort in the process only to lose all those valuable resources in the end. Make a habit of internalizing sometimes harsh feedback and you will force yourself to continually improve your solution as you progress. A lot of people simply don't like criticism, but sometimes take the harshest criticism on board and then you know you might not like what the the person is saying or how they are coming out with their criticism but after all is said and done sit down try to break down what they were talking about and look at your product and see if there's any truth in what they are saying they might have said it in the wrong way but be objective and um, that is going to help you because somebody who's rude in most cases would be speaking the real truth that's something that i have noticed don't just listen to people who like what you're doing listen to even those who don't like what you're doing because they usually have seen something that they are trying to pick apart and that's how you know where to work on your business and uh, patch things up number nine is avoid getting fired from your day job Obviously, you shouldn't work on your side hustle during company time, nor should you use company resources to advance your own pursuits. Not only is it unethical, but it's likely a violation of the employment agreements you have signed when you began your job. Make it a point to honor every term in your contract and to consistently deliver excellent performance at your day job even while your side hustle picks up momentum. Compromising your quality of work and reputation in the office will prevent you from re-engaging and even potentially partnering with your old employers once you go full-time as a business owner yourself. So look at this very uh, seriously. I know there are a lot of people who bring products to sell in their place of work. Now, you have to really be careful with this one because you don't want to be the person that's selling, you know, during work time. Now, most people would would bring their product, keep it, and then maybe during the lunch time, that's when they try to, to get people to have a look at what they have brought. Or maybe before work begins or just during breaks, you know. That's when you, you can be able to get people to, to, to have a look at what you, you're, you're trying to sell. But don't get into a, a tussle with your management because of your side hustle. Because as you're trying to build, you will need the money that you're getting from your day job. That's, that's definite. Number 10 is uh, build a sustainable flow of customers before quitting your day job. Money, money is um, is interesting because um, when you start seeing money that you did not bargain for, you all of a sudden start getting ideas, and some ideas can be good, some not so good. But um, my advice is to never leave your day job until your side hustle is providing you with a sustainable, growing cash flow that exceeds um, what you we're getting from your day job most entrepreneurs have a healthy appetite for risk but you shouldn't plunge into anything without having a decent chance of success so wait for your side hustle to pick up first if you're going to spend about six months one year of building that side hustle and you feel that even if you were to quit your day job you would be getting as much money from your side hustle or you would be at least be still rising um, in, in, in that particular area, then you might uh, think about um, 
taking time off from your day job but what i would advise first of all is uh, before you totally quit maybe um a build on you know leave days and take a long leave at the end of the year to fully cement uh, the ideas that you have for your side hustle and then in that free time make a decision on whether you feel it is something that you would want to get into full time and um, if you don't feel comfortable then please don't play with your job until you are fully able to sustain yourself from the side hustle because you might end up regretting and with this particular um, uh, situation or economic situation that we are in it might be a lot tougher to go back to your job uh, once you have quit so be careful be mindful do what you like to do find your talents and your abilities and use them if you want to get into something that would be more enjoyable as a side hustle and remember if you want to uh, go further i was still looking professional then learn to delegate the skill sets that you do not have find somebody who is able to do something for you at a minimum price but something that looks professional because you don't want to look too amateurish whilst trying to to gain a business community for yourself so find yourself a side hustle i would definitely encourage it or start to build one or invest in something that has already started because it is very hard to live on a single income and um, it sometimes you know the the job situation can be uh, unpredictable so you always need something that you can fall back on if you have something that you enjoy then achieving success with um, your side hustle is possible and uh, also there are a lot of failures but don't let the failures put you down keep striving keep learning keep working and you will get there this has been Machana. Hope you enjoy the rest of the week. And um, hopefully once again over the weekend we'll uh, go back to our normal uh, recording schedule. And um, see what happens from there. In the meantime, look after yourselves. Look after your families. Stay safe and stay clean. We'll see you on the other side. I'm out. I don't know that no one.